With this video we begin the discussion of a radial engine that represented the reliable basis of most of the aircraft of the Regia Aeronautica for almost two years of the Second World War. The greatest danger for this engine was that of ice forming inside the carburetor when the ground temperature was below 16 degrees Celsius. For this reason it was mandatory to have a preheater which prevented this drop below this lower temperature limit. It is very indicative of the quality of this engine. The fact that the heating problems. Which are the cross of most double star radial engines. Was simply solved by enriching the mixture which allowed the temperatures of the cylinders of the rear star to be brought at temperatures below the maximum limit which for this engine was 260 degrees Celsius. Temperatures that could only be or in attack and escape route. This allowed in the case of cruising to have a particularly lean mixture which allowed a great saving of fuel. It should be noted that this engine had an automatic mixture enrichment adjustment device, depending on the altitude linked to a barometric capsule which set in motion an auxiliary enrichment jet. In fact going up in altitude. Due to the physical conditions one has, one it has a progressive enrichment of the mixture which is corrected by automatically choking the pipeline that carries the fuel. The engine was so reliable that it was only necessary after 150 hours of operation on missions to send it back to the company for a general overhaul. But in any case this propeller was able to function even with petrol that was not very pure as often happened in the flight line of the Regia Aeronautica. In fact the deposits which thickened inside the cylinders due to these impurities were very small compared to those recorded in others in other engine models these incrustations therefore produced exceed. heating of the cylinders and due to the irregular distribution of the air flows on the fins of the second row they were responsible for blockages due to overheating of the cylinders or blockage s of the valves with consequent backfires. As happened in the Alfa Romeo 135 that to solve these problems you have to use a whole series of expedients, not least a further pre-refinement of the petrol. It should be noted that, in the presence of good quality petrol, the engine was excellent. Furthermore, if it was fed with high octane number petrol, after appropriate adjustment, power increases of 15 and even 20% were recorded. Which would have made it possible to have a reliable 1000 horsepower engine already at the beginning of the Second World War. Since the high octane fuels allowed to further raise the already considerable reliability.